I'm Alex K, and Labor Day is right around the corner, which means it's your last day to wear white. <laughs> Just kidding, I won't tell anybody. But in honor of Labor Day, we are going to be making some delicious ice cream sandwiches. And I came up with this recipe on my own because who doesn't love ice cream sandwiches? Plus, they're gonna be super pretty. So let's get started. So first things first, we're gonna wanna gather our ingredients. So most importantly, you're gonna wanna have some sort of cookie mix. You could do pre-made cookies, you can bake them from scratch, or you can do half and half like what I'm doing here. Um, then you're gonna want some blue and red frosting and your white frosting. The white frosting is gonna be the most important because you can always make your own blue and red icing. And then we have some festive sprinkles, our vanilla ice cream, and I found these cute little jet puffs I'm gonna use as the little stars on the cookies. So you can improvise and do whatever works best for you. If you can find these at the store, awesome. If not, you could probably get some mini marshmallows or just use some white sprinkles. So let's get started with the cookies. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get started with the cookies. We're gonna wanna preheat the oven to 350 degrees, and then we will pull out our baking sheet, grab some foil, and for this recipe, we're gonna do it ungreased, but for your cookies, be sure to look at the recipe on the back and see what you need to do with your pan. These ones are super simple, so we're gonna go ahead and throw them on some foil and get them in the oven. All right, so now we have the oven going. We're gonna go ahead and get our foil. And then we're gonna get started on my favorite part, which is the cookie dough. Ah, they look so good. All right, and now we're gonna wash our hands because we're gonna get these nice and balled up. All right. We'll go ahead and start with each cookie. And then we'll roll it up. Looks like there's gonna be a little bit of cookie dough left over, but that's okay because we got most of them on here. Now we're gonna wait and finish for the oven to preheat, and then we will put them in. All right, so now that the oven is done preheating, we are gonna go ahead and pop them in. So now that our cookies are done, we're gonna get started with my favorite part, and that is decorating them. So I have the red and blue icing ready to go in their tubes, but I'm gonna put this white icing into a Ziploc bag so we can get in on the cookies much easier. And for those of you making your colored icing, on your own, you can go ahead and just put some white frosting into a bag like this and then mix in some red and blue food coloring. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut the corner and it'll be good to go. And now it is time to decorate the cookies. So we'll start with the first one. First one might be a little bit messy, so just bear with me. But these are all gonna be the top of our ice cream sandwiches, so we'll go ahead and decorate half of them, and then the other half we're gonna keep plain, so that way when we put the ice cream on it, we will have them all ready to go.
perfect. So now that we know, oopsies, I messed it up. Okay. It's perfect. <laughs> but now that we know how good that first one turned out, I'm gonna go ahead and do all the rest of them pretty much the same. Yay, they look so pretty. Now, if you have any sprinkles, you can go ahead and add it to the top of the cookies or you can wait and just sprinkle it around on the ice cream when we make the ice cream sandwiches. I have some of this dazzle dust here that I'm just gonna sprinkle over the top a little bit to give it a little glitter effect. And then I'm gonna come in with some of our festive sprinkles and just add a little touch. So now it's time for the finishing touch and that is the ice cream. All right, so now we're gonna grab our ice cream and I don't have an ice cream scooper so this is gonna get a little bit messy but that's okay because these sandwiches are gonna be messy regardless. So I have these ones ready to go on a plate. Oh my gosh, that is so perfect. This ice cream is so fluffy. It's working great. Mm -hmm. So good. Okay. So now that we have all of our cookies ready to go with the ice cream, we're gonna go ahead and top them off with our pretty little American flags. There we go. So cute. So here we have it for our Labor Day ice cream sandwiches. They are perfectly imperfect and so delicious. They will be perfect for any Labor Day celebration. Just make sure you eat them fast so they don't melt all over you. <laughs> Thank you for watching another episode of Healthy Living with Alex K. Let me know how these went for you. Be sure to subscribe to my OnlyFans and let me know what you would like to see next time.